Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Char Kirk. Hi. And the F9 big game spot for Fast and Furious just dropped. This is their Super Bowl ad for today, 2021. Here we go. Let's check this out. The world has a way of changing, but there's one thing that always stays the same. It's family! We miss the old life. Do you? Every day. <laughs> Whoa! What the hell? What the? Oh! Hold on. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Whoa! So they definitely are doing uh, some uppings of the antes. Yeah. And so uh, let's just break this down for a second. <laughs> Holy crap! There was like a lot of stuff that happened in this trailer. <laughs> Okay. I mean, goddamn. Like, there were a bunch of police cars, and then they all flipped over in some sort of car gymnastics situation here with the, like, power, lines, power line? Like, yeah, it looks like the power lines tripped them, and, like, they all, like, flew together. Flew at the same together time. like a bunch of toy cars. Let me play this slowly. That was insane. And, and of course, we got That's some great car tricks as well. Sexy looking car, too. Yeah. Look at that custom color on there. Hey, Helen oh, Mirren. Charlize Theron is back. Oh, yeah. I completely, you know what? I was what? just so enthralled with Helen Mirren. I completely missed Charlize Theron yeah. in this. Super slow mo. Yeah, sorry. I'm playing it in slow just so I can look at it a little bit better. This whole thing right here uh, was a little bit funny. <laughs> I mean, I'm excited nonetheless. I'm always excited for a Fast and Furious film, but this just gave me some, uh, you know, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull vibes a little bit, and just a little bit because it's the jungle, you know, Indiana Jones. Yeah. And so I'm just like, oh, all right, well, they were doing that. Or there's also Triple X. They Triple X did, I guess, some jungle stuff as well, if I'm not mistaken. So she was tossing someone off of her yanking him uh, yeah. with the motorcycle's momentum into the tree. Yeah. Which is interesting. That was cool. Now Whoa. this right here is where I'm like, what the hell is going on? How epic, how big is this movie? And where are they? Yeah. Like what town is this? What city is this? Where in the world are they in this particular uh, situation? But like this whole building is crumbling like the third act of Inception. He's got some like extra gizmos going on. Yeah, with this car what that... what is this okay, like? So it she... just goes sideways into the building. So okay, so obviously there was some kind of, I don't know, it was some kind of momentum gizmo thing where he was yeah. able to like hop off. Maybe it was like a, a wheel pop thing, like a motor like like a motorcycle. Uh -huh. You know, you know how you can do a wheelie. Uh huh. It maybe there's some kind of contraption in the car that that made the car do a, a like. Like hydraulics or something? Yeah, like hydraulics. There you go. That's the, that's a much better word. And then it, somehow he timed it in such a way to go with such momentum through the building yeah. into a truck. I mean, both sides. It's it's honestly like bonkers. It, it's impossible. But yeah. It's, it's just like at this point, what? what uh, let's. It's just like it, it's a cartoon. So yeah, it's why not? Let's yeah. do that. Let's 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 have him go through a building into a truck. I don't. I think that this is. Extremely impossible. Look, there's a guy in there. I didn't even catch that. He's just like <laughs> avoiding it. That little detail. That's cute. Like, that's a detail that most people won't see, even on the big screen. They have that in there. That's fascinating. Two people in there that the car oh, just wow. flew by. Like this is the kind of stuff that you'll only see when you go when you pixel people go frame, frame by frame. Frame by frame, yeah. But like it's just I I do wonder if if it is possible for a car to have that level of momentum when it's going this way to just psh, like to go to be able to go through a building completely in, yeah. in what looks like Europe or something yeah. into a truck. Yeah. I mean that's those are all the things. That... I mean Michelle Rodriguez is having a lot of fun as she should because yeah. it looks like a lot of fun. I mean at this point if you're going to watch a, a movie in the Fast and Furious franchise, you know exactly what you're going there for. You're going for family. Right at the top, yeah. the family, and then, and then you're going for like some bonkers car stunts and just madness, and it doesn't have to make sense. That's not why we go and watch the Fast and the Furious. We're not there going, well, according to physics, it's like, no, is that a red camera? Uh, that is the red phone. The red phone. I didn't. Ca I didn't know that was the red phone. But they somehow brought back uh, our Asian guy, and they brought back oh, Jordanian yeah. Brewster. What's her Jordana name? Jordana Brewster. Jordana Brewster. Yes. Jordana Brewster. Uh, I like so, her. So, 
they got some explaining to do. <laughs> like, yeah, how like, is what she happened, back Han? In this? I mean, well, no, I mean, like, how, well, exactly, what happened to him? How yeah. is he back in this? Let's just revive everybody. Yeah, except um, for Paul Walker. I mean, they, <laughs> you know, it wouldn't surprise me if he somehow had, like, a CGI cameo like Tupac or something like right. that. Right. It really wouldn't surprise me. I think that what they did in Fast 7 was, like, a beautiful send-off for him. They don't mm-hmm. need to bring him back. They can just talk about him. But if they wanted to have him make an appearance, like, I, it wouldn't surprise me if they if they went through the effort to, yeah. you know, revive him just for, like, a few seconds to explain whatever. Nice. Like, he's, he's the at-home dad now while... Uh, Jordania, what's her name? Jordana. Jord- Jordana Brewster uh, is, you know, now she's going to go out and do the work. So. And- yeah, but like he's, yeah. Anyway. What? No, probably not. I mean, if he comes back, it's going to be like a, a proper soap opera type situation where it's just like, he died. But then he came back. Actually, he was like. No, I'm talking about Paul Walker. Yeah, that's why. Oh, yeah, okay. Because yeah. didn't he die? Yeah. In the, in the story, too. Right? No, he oh, didn't. Oh, he did? No. Oh, okay. My bad. No, I no. forgot. I think they should have done that, but what they did was this tearjerker moment at the end of Fast 7 where him and uh, Vin Diesel are on the road together, yeah. and then you see Paul Walker's car go off the other oh. direction. Okay. Yeah. It was I like I forgot. the only Fast and Furious film to like induce tears, but it's because of the real life stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, well then that's totally possible. Yeah, but anyway, uh, this was a fun trailer. I mean, teaser. <laughs> they slammed you with a lot of stuff in 30 seconds. And I don't know if they expected people to like break it down like this, but uh, I had fun looking at it. And this looks like Pasadena. So, uh, I was like, oh, is it London? But maybe it's Pasadena. There's a bridge just like this yeah. in Pasadena. So, yeah. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Let us know your feelings in the comments below, your theories on how they brought back Han into this film. And uh, check out Achara Kirk on the social media. Subscribe if you haven't already. Bell icon and all that good stuff. I'm Javi Kowei. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.